Ba-dum, bum, bum. Windy pig, windy pig, oh, windy, 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 windy pig. Okay, we're back. Um, dudes, welcome to the garage again. Still on the moped. Uh, so I've had the head off, laying the barrel off. I'll have a look at this piston, and I can see it's got some nasty blow by. So just here, <laughs> you can see that there's definitely combustion slipping past these rings. Um, so th I think that's probably one of the reasons I'm not so much power. There is some pickup here as well. That's not uncommon for these because that's right over the uh, over the exhaust port. So that tends to happen. Um, I've also found that. I don't remember doing this, so maybe this was when I got it. This barrel's been ported badly. Um, I've got one here that's been ported better. So what I've done for the minute is I've just marked up uh, on the cases uh, where we're going to take some material out. Um, I'll do that probably not tonight now because it's getting on. Um, probably tomorrow when I can run the compressor and I'll just take some material out of these transfer ports just to match them up to that. That might get some more flow in. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how to do these ring gaps. So I'm going to take this um, set of piston rings out. And we're going to see how bad they are in the bore. I think they're going to end up being quite bad. The last thing I want to do is lose this spring clip as well, because I haven't got any spares. Just got to be really bloody careful. Oh, come on. One. Right, where are we going to put this? We don't lose it. Put it there. That's good. Take out this side as well. Come on. Thank you. Take this one out of here. Oh, come on, you shit. There you go. Two. Stick that one right there. And hopefully this will push out. There we go. Let's push that pin out. Oh, it's not going to go, is it? Oh, I'm going to knock it through. What have we got? It's going to be smaller than that. What size is it going to be, do you think? A bit with Alan Key, do you think? That might, no, it's a bit. No. Let's get a socket out. We get a little socket, we can knock that through. Perfect. Where's the hammer? Any good? No. Um, oh, that might do. A bit further. There we go. That's out. Right. Rod looks all right. A um, little bit of movement, but not anything to worry about. So that can sit to one side now until I can get the compressor running. And port that. You really should not port these things when they're open, but <laughs> plenty of people do. And the, all I ever do is just absolutely stuff this full of a bit of rag. So, and I'll do a better job of that when I get fill it with rag, absolutely fill it with rag. Do your kit your material out with the, and I've got a little mini a Hoover vacuum. Just be running that at the same time, and you should get away with it. I mean, these aren't high stress motors. I wouldn't do that on anything proper like a, a proper dirt bike or anything, but on these little moped motors out there, they're so easy to replace the bits on. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, so let's look at this piston. So you've got a little bit coming through. You Obviously, coming by there where you've got the ring gap, that's common because you have to have a small gap to get the piston rings on. Uh, same over here, you've got quite a bit, not quite so much because it's a second ring. Where that's coming by really badly, there. That's the worst bit of blow by. So that's what we're trying to avoid. Um, look at that out there, really, as well, because that doesn't look too smart either. This one looks much nicer. That one's got quite a lot of wear on it, you see. You can see the coloration on it where it's got really hot. 
this is a nice new one, so I'll fit that as well. We'll get the rest of that out of there. Let's get these rings off first. I've got a ring tool here with me, but we'll take these off the old fashioned way with just your big old fat old fingers. And the way you test the ring gaps on these, and I'll have the book out in a minute and see. Come on. So that's now been marked up for porting. That can go out of the way. It's going to be done tomorrow. That can go out of the way. That can go back over there. I'll go back on the shelf. Keep everything in its place. I don't get stressed. That head, that's fine as it is. That's going to go back with the port barrel base. Thing in this place, right? Rings, right? This is the cylinder we know is good. What you do is you put your rings in, like so. You make sure they're all squared up. Put them in the piston, and I put those in up to down. So <laughs> these have got a C clip on them. So these, this type of ring has got a, a cutout, a C cutout there. Um, might be easier to see on this camera. Than the camera, it's a little C cutout, and that matches up as you go up that way around to the little pin that's the locating pin to stop the and all that does is stops these rings from turning around because you've got ports in here the last thing you want to do is for that gap to pass over a port open up inside the port and then smash itself to bits um so we're just going to put this in here oh brilliant that looks really good so maybe i wonder why it's getting blow by then maybe it's just one of those things so that's in there Let's check the spec. So, I've got the book, the old Bat of Us book by Mr. Harrison, which is a good find. This I've got to just try and find the piston ring gap measurement, page 12. It's more than a Haynes manual, isn't it? <laughs> piston ring gap measurement should be uh, between 0.2 and 0.5 millimeters. Well, it looks way bigger than that. Let's get our nice set of verniers out. Is what I'm talking about. These are um, just thickness gauges, just feeler gauges. When I say 0 0.2 to 0 0.5, what did I say? 0 0.2 to 0 0.5, page 12 on it. 0 0.2 to 0.5 mil. Right. 0.5 mil is the biggest. So if we can get a 0 0.5 and it's gone too far, where's 0 0.5 mil? 0 0.5. Yeah, so it's just, that is 0.5 mil, just passing out of there quite easily, look. Just passing out. So that means those rings are out of spec. Not by a long way, admittedly, but far enough out. And I'm just going to open up the new set, see what we get measurement with that. Look at that, look. That's no gap at all there. I mean, let's, you're not getting a 0.5 in there. You can get a 0.2 in there, I don't think we are. Is it 0.2? It's smaller. 0.25. Is that one in the wrong place? 0.23. 0.2. Doesn't even go in. So, these are... I don't know whether is that good. I suppose it can't be too tight, can it? Because because these have got C rings on them. Because these are C ones, and they've got that little locating pin. The bottom is always going to be a bit bigger, so you're, you're never going to. So that should close up nearly perfectly. So now I've got this. I would do. Do I hone this first? I don't think it's going to hurt to run a hone down, is it? Let's be honest. And I've got plenty of spares. I think we're hoping that. I've got the drill down here. Right. Just give this a light tone. This should help just all sorts of things. It's 
it's not going much, is it? Not doing much at all. Let's tighten it up. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie days. Looks better already. Nice clutch action in there. Feels nice. I'm going to run that again. A bit tighter. Tight. Should we go mad? Should we really put a nice hatching in there? Should help it run better. And not what that does is a it helps the oil adhere to the walls of the cylinder, which is good. It just just helps everything out. So it's taking that ridge off. It's even taken out. There was some damage in there, I remember seeing before. It's gone nicely, isn't it? It's not taking much material out. That looks really nice. Let's put these... So that's that, that's honed. Oh, attached myself to the bench. Let's hone that out. And then... Which of these pistons looks better? That looks quite nice, but dirty. I think we'll fit this one. It looks the newest of them all. I wonder what the gap rings are like on this one. Let's check the rings on this one. Because... I'm nothing if not a skin flint. I wouldn't mind keeping the... If these are good as well. we have to have good spares. Oh, they're really good. These are brand new as well. I think. They look hardened. I'm going to run these off that piston. I think. I'm going to clean up that piston up and run those. Keep these brand new ones. For another time, I think. Never hurts to keep them. So, let's check this bottom one as well. I'll give this piston a clean up just to. Come on, get off of it. No, you cunt. Oh, I've got them now, aren't I? Brilliant. Yeah, we'll run those. So I'm going to clean this up a bit and uh, we'll fit all this back in again. Well, we won't fit it yet. We'll, I'll fit it after it's all been ported, uh, ported out. So tomorrow will be the porting. That's really it for now, I think. Um, there's not much more I can do until um, until I've ported out that other cylinder. Um I might go through the electrics and tidy all that up on the actual bike itself. But again, I'll find that tomorrow. I don't know, so that's going to be a job where I need to roll the. Uh, so I'm just whipping myself a new bit of rag. I need to. I need to get into the bike to do that. Check that electrics because I want to check the switches and everything else. And I'm also waiting for the new condenser for this to come in. Um, so we've got everything we need. Really, we've got a new. I don't know how I put it, but we've got a new gudgeon pin. Got a new pin, got a new piston. Can we go in there? It's not, is it? We'll fit, look at that in there. So two new rings, new piston ish. Looks newer than mine anyway. So two rings, two sets of rings to go on. New piston to go in, in a nicely honed bore. <sighs> that was close, wasn't it? That was stupid. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and that'll be it for now. So that's today's videos. This week's videos, whatever it is, whenever I'm editing them, and I'll um, see you next time.